Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today will be a little bit unusual video guys. Uh, we will show you how to install exterior guys, exterior cable dropper post on a bicycle. Stay with us, we're going to explain how to do that. As you know, mostly we make videos about fixing cars and every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos that we provide absolutely free guys. And why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. But in today's video, we will explain how to install ex uh, external dropper post guys easily and we will explain what to do and what not to so you don't damage things as well guys if you need to buy any parts tools anything we'll be using we'll share the link in the description of the video below for your convenience so please check it out so let's start on it now so first thing we're going to remove the old seat post guys okay we just get it loose get it out okay you need to make sure that you have exactly the same width okay of post that you need for your bicycle for instance this one is 31.6 some of some of them are 30.9 so uh, you need to measure or you need to see what your old uh, post says to make sure that you get the one that you need guys so this is the one okay we're going to get the seat later we don't need anything like that now uh, what we're going to do now guys okay we're going to get that post now okay and uh this one we're going to insert it there is a minimum insertion up to here where it says zero make sure you go at least that much in what we'll do okay i'm going to go practically guys almost all the way on it okay to maybe about okay let's see how that's going to be maybe to about six okay right here on six i'll just make it relatively straight later we are going to adjust all that and just get it tight now and let's go ahead and explain now about that exterior cable post so if you come to right here okay this side guys okay we're going to remove that cap okay that's where the cable will be connected so once we remove that cap okay you can see we're going to install our cable now let me explain a few more things let me grab the camera quick i want to show you what we will be doing now so uh this bike for instance the tracks okay what i like about them they have the internal cable routing right here we can go through the frame come out on the bottom right there and from there with zip ties we're going to come exteriorly to the side okay right here which will be great by the way now another thing guys okay another thing for any of you guys okay that want to run it internal on that track you can still do it but uh you don't have a factory hole on the marlin 6 at least the 2020 model what you will need to do remove that here and you will need to manually drill a hole inside to go from here to here and it's doable but it's quite a bit of work so now okay this is the cable guard we're going to get the cable itself now let's go ahead we're going to run that cable through the frame and we're going to come all the way on the bottom okay so that's what we'll be doing sometimes it may hit it may get stuck okay but that's what we'll be doing we'll get it out and we'll show you what to do next so what we did guys okay we got the cable okay through the through the hole it came out of here okay we reposition it between the two so that will be great you can see we have this one inside so it was easier to fish it with with a little cable than uh, pulling the, uh, the that whole big fat thing out so uh, we're going to pull it out okay we're going to see how much now we need okay kind of like that we're going to uh, do things on on uh, uh, to the seat post now and then we're going to continue with the with the rest so uh, now we can safely guys okay drop the bike down and we're going to see okay what will be the next step so what we did guys okay right here we got it okay through that clamp it comes perfect okay it's still a little bit loose we're going to readjust all that in a little bit we got the cable uh, a little bit of white lithium grease to grease it so it can go easily spray in the hole okay we have to be careful that's it perfect now we're going to get the cable the bow needs to come on this side okay be careful not to bend your cable if you bend it that may affect how easily it's going to go okay and how easily your post will work as well so okay you can see just go smooth easily don't force things in if something stops okay you don't want to bend it guys let's see if it's going to come on the other side soon Sure. 
okay he did all the way there perfect now uh, let's pull it this way a little bit perfect now let's explain what we are going to do now that ball thing okay I'm going to pull that thing down more okay let's pull that cable through the hole here more because we have quite a bit of slack on the bottom pull more 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 okay one second now I'm going to give it more slack okay wow one mistake a cable went we're supposed to do that so let's pull it out again okay let's pull it out again we're going to get one of the cable ends okay right here perfect okay so let's install that one now okay you can see we're just going to fish through it perfect now let's install it again guys round number two make sure the cable okay you hold it good don't let it touch the ground if you do when it's greased dirt and dust can stack, stick to it that will affect the way the bicycle performs as well that dropper post so you don't want that to happen okay we are almost there perfect let's get this one in now okay all the way now we're going to get the ball come here I'm trying to focus to show you okay let's pull the cable on the other side a little bit no no not this one the the, the cable itself the the wire cable perfect okay now I'm going to install the cap okay let's see where that cap goes so we can close it on this side okay you have one tooth right here and looking at it guys okay let's pull it out a little bit perfect we need to first pull it out I need to do that to close it then it's going to go in just like that and pull it a little bit on the other side so it's not loose now we're going to continue with the next step we're done for here now later we're going to do zip ties and we'll show you one special trick that will prevent your frame from getting scratched so next uh, we're going to get a three millimeter a1 wrench also known as hex key we're going to remove that bolt that's for the lever there are two different kinds of levers if you have front shifters that uh, that lever is recommended if you do not have front shifter guys okay on the left side there is a different kind that looks just like this one but since this bike already comes with the front shifter okay we got this kind of gear so we're going go to go through here come on the side okay like that okay let's see if that will be okay because you'll be standing up okay let's see where we want it guys do we want it this way okay what if it's here because it will actually stand up okay like that you'll be actually comfortable i think like this so we decided okay we'll try it like that okay and then we're going to switch to a different position and see okay this screw bolt we're going to attach it two newton meters is the tightening okay torque that's recommended so let's get it tight first okay like that okay perfect now let's go ahead and see okay what else we need to do okay for now it's moving here okay yep it's convenient because actually it's going to pull it on its own up great so something that we probably should have done uh, before guys we need to cut now okay the cable guard and the cable itself so the guard will go up to here the cable will be longer but in order to push the cable out we need to come out again okay we're going to grab it out of here pull that cover okay and just push it up now okay so we can pull it out of here pull it at least okay you can even go all the way but we're going to go up to that and we need to cut it okay right here now so we marked it okay right here we're going to cut it now that's what we'll be doing next okay let me just position it okay it looks like we just have 
one or two more holding. Perfect. Now let's explain what we need to do guys. Okay, I'm going to get a small screwdriver. You need to make that thing round again. Perfect. And it's ready. Now only thing left, we need to cut the cable. But we are gonna do that with the cable out of here. Okay, so we can see exactly where it needs to come. Perfect. Now since we are doing that already, okay, let me show you okay what what else we will do. We're going to reconnect it here now. Okay. While it's reconnected, I'm going to get the cover. Trying not to lose things here or break things at the same time. So let's pull the cable out more. Okay. Now push it in. Perfect. It stays there. Great. Now, so we're going to get, okay, that end now. That's part of the lever. Okay, there is grease inside. <laughs> so that's normal. Perfect. We'll get it out. Okay, let's pull that cable out. Spread some of the grease on it as well. We're going to go through here now. Okay, perfect. We're gonna go there. All the way in. Just great, like that. Now, guys, okay, here, okay, we're going to see, okay, what we're going to do. We need to see how much we need to cut the thing, okay? That's where things get a little bit, okay, a little bit complicated now. So, what we need to do now? We need to measure how long the cable needs to be. It's going to go like that through the cable through the lever excuse me we're going to go down okay eventually pull it down okay now i'm going to go all the way up this thing needs to be leveled everything here this one needs to go in okay this one didn't go in perfect just like that now we need to make it guys okay to about Okay, I'm going to cut it to about, okay, not to be visible, about right there. Okay, right there, okay, we can actually go ahead, install the thing on it, and then cut it. So, let me show you what we'll be doing next. So, next two millimeter Allen wrench, there is one screw bolt that we're going to loosen, perfect, like that. Make sure the cable hole is big enough that way. We're going to go through here now. Okay, but now, okay, a problem here. We need to actually go through here, through the side. So, what we're going to do, let's open this one, get the cable out. We're going to get the almond wrench to be on the other side. Or this side works too. Okay, one second to align everything. Okay, this thing needs to go down, perfect. So now I need to turn it, okay. Okay, let me see the cable. I think I'll be able to fish it out. Okay, perfect. What we're going to do, get it in. Okay, let me see now. Everything works good now, I believe. Okay, it's on this side. I left it on this side. Let's just get it tied. Because on the other side the handlebars are curved and we may not have enough room to get it tied. Make sure it's all the way in. Okay, let me let me do that quick. Because if it's not in, what will happen? Okay, let me let me see it on this side. Okay, if I can do it, I will pass the camera. Okay, right there. I thought it went in earlier. Maybe it's the next small, or maybe it's one and a half. Let me see. No, it's actually the two. But. Oh. Okay, now it's in all the way. You just a little bit. Okay, let me pull the cable, not to have any slack here. Okay, we just get it tight to see now. 
Okay, we're going to install the seed. We'll see how everything works before we cut the cable and finish the installation. So we installed our seed, guys. Check it out. We installed the seed. Now we're going to press down. It goes up. Press down. Let's push down. Perfect. Okay, let's test it again. Make sure everything is good. Okay. Perfect. We can leave it like that. Now the cable looks good. Everything is good. What we're going to do, we're going to cut it to about right here now. Okay. To about right here. Underneath. Okay, right there. So we can install the safety pin on it. Okay, perfect. Now, in the box, guys, okay, you get one little bitty thing, okay, that we're going to compress with pliers. So this one will go in here, the end piece, and we just need to get it with the pliers now, okay. That's good, I hold the bike, and uh, we're going to press it so it doesn't fall off, okay. So let's do that now. You can just do that. Okay, we need to come with the end piece on the pliers. Okay, let me do that. So, we finished it guys. Everything is ready to go. All we have to do, you can install some clear tape. Okay, there is special clear tape like installed here for the speedometer. You cannot even see that it's here. And installing that clear tape right here guys, okay, will actually make it to where the cable will not scratch your, uh, uh, will not scratch your frame. Otherwise, otherwise it's, uh, it's a shame guys to scratch your uh, frame. So that's a clear tape. It's clear on both sides, so you uh, uh, install it to the frame, check it out on the bottom. You cannot even see guys where we have it installed. So that's the only thing left. We just need to buy a little bit more clearer tape, get one zip tie, tie it here and we're ready to go. Hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to install that. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.